Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's your girl Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe if you're new. Welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Please motivate me by suggesting stuff to react to, and I'll be more than glad to react to whatever you suggest. So today I'm going to be reacting to Atheist debates with Dr. Zaki Naik on terrorism part one of two. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Morning, Mr. Zakir Naik. My name is Jamish Damani. First of all, I want to thank you for what you're doing here. I've really taken a, a lot away from here, I'm sure. Um, my question is on your point number three. Actually, I have three questions, if you could be so kind. But on point number three, first of all, I felt that you, it was very evasive, your, your answer. But what I'm going to ask you is very simple. When you talk about terrorism, when you talk about Islam, now this is a very simple, straightforward question. I hope I can get a straightforward answer. With what's happening in Pakistan, Iraq, Afghanistan, just to name a few, I'm not stereotyping, I hope no one takes offense, but when you hear on the news that a woman is cooking food for her kids and then a suicide bomber comes and kills them, I want to ask you a simple question. What is that? Is that Islam or is that people who don't understand what Islam is and they have their own perception of Islam? And please, let me ask you one more thing. Can you give me an answer that is not in World War I or something there were more people that died or this is all propaganda and these are Americans killing people and that's well, your not man, the, sir, then you pass yeah, your comment, inshallah. Yeah, I want your just man, that type of answer. Yeah. Your man, sir, then you can pass your comment. Huh? The brother has the question that years in Afghanistan and Pakistan, a woman cooking food, a suicide bomber comes and blows up and kills. As far as Islam, what the media is saying, forget about it. I'll give you ruling of Islam. Whether what the media says is right or wrong. Quran says in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 32, if anyone kills any other human being, unless it be for murder or for spreading corruption in the land, it is as though he has killed the whole of humanity. Any person kills any other human being, whether Muslim or non-Muslim, Unless it be for murder or for spreading corruption in the land, it is as though he has killed the whole of humanity. And if any human being saves other human being, it is as though he has saved the whole nation. So according to the Quran, killing any single innocent human being is prohibited. If a suicide bomber comes and kills a woman who is cooking she innocent, it is 100% prohibited, whether done in Pakistan or Afghanistan or America or Dubai. Is the answer clear? Okay, 100% wrong. Clear Whoever was doing it, Whoever was doing it, whoever was doing it, whether namesake Muslim or American or propaganda, whoever was doing it, it is totally prohibited. Okay. Fine. So is it clear answer? That is clear. Hundred percent clear. Hundred percent. Whether you do, anyone so that does. Is wrong, yeah. Hundred okay. percent wrong. It no. is as though he has killed the whole of humanity. There is no other scripture that I know of today. Okay. There is no other scripture that I know of today yeah. that gives this statement that if you kill one human being. It is as though you killed the Holy Man, except the Quran. There is no other perfect. scripture that I know which says that if you say one human being, you have saved the whole of humanity. No other scripture. Perfect. Now, can I ask you something? Yes, You've you are told most me welcome. this is wrong, yeah? 100% wrong. Fine, fine, fine. Now, why are you here? The way I look at it, all of these are innocent, loving people here. Why isn't this convention somewhere like Afghanistan and Pakistan trying to teach people that what they are doing is not Islam and is just some brainwashed chaos and that they're going to go to hell and they're not going to go to heaven for killing innocent people for the 911 attacks for the London bombings innocent people died if I don't like you and I kill you it's more justified than if I don't like somebody if I don't like Jews and I go and kill innocent Americans with families why don't you go and educate these people and have a better cause rather than converting four or five people here and save thousands of lives brother has asked a very good question He's telling me, why don't I go to Pakistan, to Afghanistan and spread this message and prevent this? Brother, I go every day, even now I'm going there. I'm on the satellite. We have Peace TV reaching 100 million people. This is how much? That's what I wanted to this hear. This is 20, 30,000 people. The audience here will be 20, 30,000 people, not more than that. You see the recording. Why do we the recording? So that I can go to Pakistan, I can go to Afghanistan, I can go to even America and my lectures on jihad and terrorism, the maximum viewership, it has got more than 100 million people. 
and it is meant for the full world. I am giving here, it is being recorded, being telecast. The thing is, I cannot force anyone the point of the sort accept my message. Can I force you? Am I forcing you? Yeah. Am I forcing you to accept my message? No, 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 you're not forcing How can me. I force the people of Pakistan? How can I force the people of Afghanistan? At the same time, at the same time, at the same time, I also tell, the innocent people being killed, I agree with you. What's the numbers? You said, you know, four or five people converting here is better than telling that. My job is to deliver the message. Fazakrin naman tamazakrin. Mentioned in the Quran, Surah Ghasha, chapter 88, verse 21, 22. Our job is to deliver the message. We can't convert hearts. Allah told the Prophet, you are not the manager of affairs. It is Allah who gives the hidayah. I can talk. I cannot convert. It is Almighty God who converts. I can talk. Whether they understand or not in Pakistan, it is Almighty God. Coming to your basic question. According to me, you should see my cassette. Is terrorism Muslim monopoly? Is terrorism Muslim monopoly? If you see that cassette, your mind, your vision of terrorism will improve. Time does not permit me to give a talk here again. But I'll tell you for sure. According to me, the terrorists are mainly the politicians. It is they who create this. You go anywhere. You know in India, all the riots that took place, indirectly or directly, it's the politician. Babri Masjid. Why did Babri Masjid riot take place? Why? Because the politicians. Gujarat riot. Politicians. What happened about 9-11? See my cassette. It was an inside job. According to 72 scientists of America, they say 9-11 cannot be done by 19 Arabs. It's impossible. It was inside job. 72 scientists of America, not Zakir Naik. Inside job. Who did it? George Bush. Okay, Afghanistan. Then Wait, let me come to my answer. Afghanistan. Thousands of people being killed. They are sending cluster bombs. Cowards there. Thousands of people. You are talking about suicide bombs? That is haram. I am not condoning it. I am condemning it. But the bigger thing to be condemned is the Americans sending their fighters in Afghanistan, killing thousands of people. In Iraq, killing thousands of people. Saddam Hussein. I am not a fan of Saddam Hussein. He has done mistakes. The people of Iraq, they were fed up of Saddam Hussein. But after America came there, they are more fed up of the American than Saddam Hussein. That does not justify, just because Saddam Hussein was bad, that does not justify America to come and take over Iraq. Why are they doing it? For the money, for the oil. What is the main interest? Is the oil. Who created Taliban? When Russia came, the Americans supported the Afghanis created Taliban. Now they want to take over, they're fighting back. Who is the creation? Americans. The biggest threat, according to me in this history, George Bush. Now he's no longer there. George Bush, yeah, number one. I'm with one. you on that. Sorry? I'm with you on that. You're with me on that. So I'm also going to America. I'm even going to America live and on satellite, giving the message to Americans. I was the first person that I know of in the public after 9-11 in Australia. I said, I'm a fundamentalist and I consider George Bush to be the biggest terrorist. It came at headlines. In December, in December 2001, when I gave a talk in Australia, when the Consul General asked me that what do you consider, who's a terrorist, I said George Bush number one. It came as headline, Dr. Zakir and I call themselves a the fundamentalist and consider George Bush to be terrorist number one. Now, every Tom, Dick and Harry is calling him a terrorist. At that time, no one had the guts. What we realized, we are speaking the truth. Now, whether George Bush, you know, many people say, when I gave a talk in London on terrorism, very good talk, people enjoyed. A youngster comes and says, death to George Bush, death to George Bush. Full talk of mine gone. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they were two staunchest enemies of Islam. Both were called Umar, Umarain. The Prophet prayed to Allah that give hidayah to one of these two Umar, and Umar bin Khattab. May Allah be pleased with him. Who was the second guy of Islam. Allah gave hidayah, who was the staunchest enemy of Islam, became the staunchest supporter. Therefore I said, may Allah give hidayah to George Bush. I cannot, I can speak, I cannot give hidayah, I can tell him what he's doing is wrong. I don't want to kill him, I want him to accept Islam. Killing is useless. What's the use of killing? Accepting is better. So that's the reason we are giving the message. Those whose hearts are opening, they're accepting. Inshallah, God will open your heart also one day. So when God opens your heart one day, I cannot do it. 
I can give the message. I can't force you. Unless God gives you, unless you strive. If you strive, God will help you. If you don't strive, your heart will not be open. A very interesting video. Wow, this was quite, quite different and quite real in a sense. Um, I don't know, how would people that have studied politics, the people that are watching this, anything to do with poli politics, political science, international relations, whatever it is that you studied, or maybe just those that are really into politics, have followed the news, and have some knowledge on this topic, how do you feel about this video? Because Dr. Zaki Naik actually went in. That's why when they say certain things are propaganda, do your research. Find out because people do the most. How are you going to create a group and once you're done with that group or that group wants to go against you, you turn your back on them and start fighting each other, causing a war in the process. Innocent people suffer from that. Um, some of this stuff that was said in this video is actually not um, hidden information. That's what I'm saying. If you are a student of those uh, the courses I've mentioned, then you would know that the disciplines the disciplines I mentioned, then you would know that uh, it's not a secret. These things are openly discussed in class, and people have different views. Of course, even just textbooks have different views, and it depends on what you want to believe. Otherwise, I love the question of why not preach whatever he preaches in these countries that are actually affected and um like i said it was a good question and i wish and hope first of all i wish more people could ask such nice questions because you get to learn a lot even though even if the the speaker or the organizers didn't think of that you'll find that he's actually gone to these because someone asked such a question. It can actually push someone or encourage someone to actually go to these places, be on the ground and actually speak to people. Otherwise, harming someone for the sake of propaganda is trash. Harming someone for whatsoever reason is not okay at all. People need to realize that. Let me know what you guys actually think. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. If there's anything you want me to react to, drop the link down below, and I'll be more than glad to react to it. And I'll see you in my next video.